Tarun Kumar Das, working in Kendri Vidyalaya Koraput. Welcome to all of you for today's English class. And today's topic is the talkative barber, class 5 English. And in this topic, we are going to discuss about the question and answer related to the story, the talkative barber. Friends, in part 1, we have already discussed how to read the story how to pronounce the new words we have already discussed the new word meanings as well as how to use them in sentences and we also discussed how to write out the questions and answers related to the story now we are going to write down the textual exercises as well as some opposite words and uh, different type of processes related to some events so friends let's start the story the talkative barber class 5 english question and answer so what are the objectives we are going to achieve after watching this video lesson and the objectives are number one answer the textual questions that means some of the questions are related to the textbook related to the story and we are going to find out the answers next year, we are going to write the opposite words by adding some prefixes next we are also going to write the procedures of various events and also we are going to write down some of the connectors used in sentences so let's start so friends let's read the story the talkative barber question and answer Let's read number one. How many brothers did the barber have? As all of you know, the barber initially told to the Sultan that the barber had six brothers. So we can write the barber had six brothers. Next question Why was the Sultan in a hurry? When the barber didn't shave the Sultan and started talking, at that time, the Sultan requested as well as ordered the barber to shave his head because the Sultan was in a hurry. Why? The Sultan was in a hurry because he had already invited some of the guests to his palace and he had arranged a feast for them. So we can write the king had an affair of the greatest importance. That is why the Sultan was in a hurry. Why did the barber take so long to shave the Sultan? The barber, you know, was very talkative. That is why he took so long to shave the Sultan. Write true or false. Here, the questions will be given to you. You have to find out whether these statements are true as compared to the story or false as related to the story. Let us find out the statement number one. The barber was shaving the Sultan's beard. As all of you know, the barber was not shaving the Sultan's beard. The barber was shaving the Sultan's head. So this sentence will obviously wrong. So we'll go for the next one. The Sultan gave him three gold coins. And you know, you can remember when the barber was not shaving the Sultan, and he was talking and talking at that time the sultan in spite to get rid of the barber the sultan ordered his courtiers that please give him some of the gold coins or three pieces of gold and let the barber go ever from here so we can write yes it is true one the barber refused to leave the sultan's palace exactly when the sultan ordered him to leave him but the barber said at that time that it was the Sultan who had invited him. But the barber had not come according to his own will. That is why we can write the barber refused to leave the Sultan's palace. Next, there were seven brothers all together in the Sultan's family. Yes, it's not correct because six brothers were with the barber, not with the Sultan. So we can write the number one as false number two as true number three as true and number four as false 
Why did the barber want a lot of food? When the Sultan told the barber that he had invited his guest and he had arranged a feast, the same time the barber also requested the Sultan that please show him about the food items because he can remember, he could remember that he had also invited some of his friends, four or five friends. So we can write like this, the barber had invited four or five friends to his house. So the barber wanted a lot of food from the Sultan. Did the Sultan enjoy the barber's talk? Why do you say so? I think the Sultan did not enjoy the barber's talk because you can remember from the story that the when the barber was talking uselessly at the time, the Sultan was getting annoyed. He was becoming very angry and he was shouting the barber to stop and to leave him and also he ordered him to give some of the gold coins and uh, leave the palace. Meanwhile, several things are there because and in this section we can find out that the Sultan was not at all interested in the barber's talking. So we can write no. The Sultan did not enjoy the barber's talk. Many times the Sultan ordered the barber to stop talking. He also offered three pieces of gold to get rid of the barber. Which part of the story did you find the funniest? Friends, there are several parts in the story which are very funny. But uh, one of this uh, part I can say that uh, when the barber said that he had six brothers and all were having some defects, still they were chatterers. And the barber said himself that he was very quiet. So in this section, we can guess that the barber was not quiet. The barber was very talkative. But still the barber was telling that he was very quiet. This is the funniest part. Another funniest part is also there when the Sultan showed his uh, some of the dishes the food prepared for his guest and instead of shaving the sultan's head the barber was uh, examining the food items this was also very funny so we can write anything one so in this part we have written the funniest part of the story was when the barber described about his brothers a chatterers and him as very quiet among them. What are the things the Sultan gave to the barber? Actually the Sultan gave a lot of things to the barber. In first case we can remember the Sultan gave order to give three pieces of gold. In the second case the Sultan agreed to give all the food items prepared for the guest. In the third case the Sultan also agreed to give all the fruits for the desert and we can write like this. The Sultan gave the dishes prepared for his guest. Besides this, he also gave some fruits for desert. You can also add the Sultan also offered three pieces of gold to the barber. Do you think the Sultan was really very generous? Why do you say so? Yes, we can think that the Sultan was uh, really generous. How? I can say so because he gave the food items to the barber, which were meant for his guests. Without punishing him, without punishing the barber, the Sultan gave almost all the food. And you can guess that uh, the Sultan could have given punishment and the Sultan could have arranged another barber by putting this barber, that barber, in the jail. So this way we can guess that the Sultan was really very generous. Study the words in the first column and see the changes in them in the second column. The words in column two are the opposites of the words in column one. In column one, you will get some of, you will get some of the words and in column two, you will get some different words with the prefix. And then you can compare that in column two, the words will be the opposites of the first column.
how we can check here one second column and here it is important and here it is unimportant that means un is the prefix has been here used here next it is patient and this is impassant the same word is there but i am im has been used just prior to the word patient similarly it is pleasure and this will be displacer so both of the words are totally opposite to each other now write the opposites of the following using an im dish by using this prefix we have to find out the opposite of the words here it is believe and we can add dish to believe and it will be disbelieve yes next word is shaped and we can add here un and it will be unshaped next it is perfect and we can add i am and it will be imperfect next it is satisfy and we can add dish to satisfy and this will be dissatisfy next is polite and we can add i am to polite and it will be impolite next is respect then you can add here dish and it will be disrespect next is pure and we can add im to pure and it will be impure next is expected and we can add un it will be unexpected next is obedient and we can add dish and it will be disobedient so let's start the new topic fill in the blanks by adding un im or dish to the words given in the box here is the box in the box the words are tidy patient kind like able appear possible but now what we have to do we have to air the prefixes given above like un im and dish to the words in red and we have to fill in the blanks so the first question the teacher got upset with rani because her work was dish and we can see the work may be neat and tidy so related to tidy and we have to use it as an opposite by adding something and this will be what we will find out next word the dog was days to climb the tree to chase the cat so it depends upon the possibility of the dog whether the dog was possible to climb or not next i days hot milk i like it cold it is refer to like or dislike so we can add like this and it is days to cross the road during peak traffic hours so this is also one kind of uh, possibility and uh, there the dog we can is uh, possible or able and here it is possible next we can add here and this will be untidy the dog was unable to climb the tree to chase the cat i dislike hot meal i like it cold it is impossible to cross the road during peak traffic hours the magician waved his magic wand and made the rabbit what you know the magician what a magician does actually the magician something make it something disappear and something make it appear so this is the play of the magician so we can use accordingly next one the passengers became dazed when the train was late again so passengers may be in trouble and passengers may be a little bit confused and the passengers may be a little bit impatient like this we can write it is very taste to make fun of another person's weakness it is not at all kind it is not a good sign of a person 
to make uh, fun of another person's weakness. So we can add like this and the first one will be the magician wrapped his magic fan and made the rabbit disappear. The passengers became impassioned when the train was late again. It is very unkind to make fun of another person's weakness. Notice the highlighted words in the sentence given below. Here, the sentence is, You ordered me to come, so I will not quit your house till I have shaved you. So here, friends, so and till, these two words have been shaded. That means it, uh, these two words have been highlighted with the red color. So what do the words actually signify? And we can say, these words are the connectors to connect two or more sentences. Next to another sentence is, while he was shaving me, he could not stop talking. So here, while is, uh, had been highlighted and uh, we have to use such type of words in the following sentences. Now, use the joining words given in the box to fill in the blanks. You know, these are the joining words because they join two or more sentences. So now the options are if, or, till, where, unless, so, why. So we have to use these words and write the sentences by filling the blanks. Number one, please wait with me. Days the bus arrives. That means somebody is requesting here Days the bus arrives, that means the bus has not arrived yet, but the bus is to arrive in a short while, in a short period of time. So till that duration, we have somebody is requesting to wait. So what should be used here? We have to find out. Next word, do you like football? Days, cricket. Here, liking about football and cricket, that should be a choice. So we have to use a connector or the joining word referred to choice. Next, my father packed my lunch. My mother combed my hair. Friends, these two activities are going on same time. Only. And uh, somebody was doing and at the same time somebody was doing another work. So we have to use a connector here. Next, we will reach on time. Days, we go by the car. That means there is a condition here. In this condition word, some one word is there which refers to condition. We have to add here. So how? The first one you can see, please wait with me till the bus arrives. Do you like football or cricket? A choice. My father packed my lunch while my mother combed my hair. We will reach on time. If we go by the car, your speech cannot be heard by the audience. Days you use a powerful mic. That means the a condition. It was a beautiful day. Days they decided to go for a picnic. That is purpose is there. So we have to use. We went to the zoo. Days we saw many animals. It's a place oriented. So write out. Unless, number one, next one, it is so, purpose, next one, place, it is where. Look at the words in the bubbles, write what you do when you are at a days. At a feast, what do you do? At a race, what do you do? At a cricket match, what do you do? At a cinema, then at a fair, then at a party. So what do you do? Some of the words are related to feast. And they are drink, sit, serve, enjoy, related to race, run, enjoy, win, compete, cricket match, sit, yell, that means shout, enjoy, wave, shout. Next is cinema, sit, drink, enjoy. Next is buy, ride, enjoy. Next is party, drink, dance, sing, enjoy and cheer. How does your father or uncle shave his face every day? So this is a process, how to shave. 
So we can write he lathers his face with shaving cream. You can see in the picture. Then he uses his razor. He runs it over his face in even strokes. After this, he washes his face and wipes it to get rid of the leather. Yes. Now in the last picture, you can find the face shaved totally. Now describe two of the following processes. One is how to send a letter or email. So here we are going to discuss how to send an email. Here you can see the picture. The procedure is that click on the tab compose. Here compose in red mark is there and then type the email address of the person to whom you want to send the mail. In the white box you can see example at the red gmail.com there the email address of the person. Type the subject of your email. There type mail where it is written. You have to write the subject. Type the subject of your email which tells the reader what the mail is about before starting to read it. Type your message in the big box below the subject. After that, click on the send button. Send button in the blue color button is there in the white color box. You can find out. You have to click that one. And when you have completed your email. Next is how to send a letter. Write a letter in a plain paper, put it in an envelope, close the envelope and write the address of the receiver. Receiver means whom you are sending the message and the address of the sender. Sender means your address. Then affix required stamp. Stamp should be affixed on the front side and post it in a post box. Then your letter will be sent to the concerned person. How to make a salad? In the picture, you can see the steps. Wash all vegetables, tomatoes and herbs and chop them. That means cut small pieces. Mix them all together. You can add nuts to it if you like. It is according to your choice. Then you have to take a lemon, cut it and squeeze lemon and add a pinch of salt to taste. Then you can add coriander leaves and fresh salad is ready to serve. How to prepare a garden bed to grow flowers? First of all, find a suitable place for a garden bed. Dig the place thoroughly to break up and loosen the soil. Mix compost in the soil, then level it and sow seeds. After this cover, the bed with the fine soil. Water it daily. After some days, you will find small plants in your garden bed. You can see the picture. How to paint a mural or a wall picture? First of all, choose best paint quality and color. After that, go to the market and buy paint and brushes. Clean the surface of the wall first. Mix the paint well. Now apply the paint gently all over. Coat it twice and thrice if needed. Your wall has become beautiful now. Friends, if you like this video, click on the like button and you can comment your suggestions as well as you can share with your friends. And you can follow me on https.blogspot.com. So, friends, thank you very much for being with me. I will come back with a new video for you. Till then, bye-bye.